Hey guys, it's Nick from Begin Fit here, and today I'm going to do a slightly different type of video. So, I don't know if you guys have seen that there's these martial, well, I call them martial arts, but they're more used for boxing or MMA, Muay Thai, anything like that. Um, they're like sticks, they're put about this long, and instead of using like a focus pad, like a traditional um, either normal focus pad or a tire pad, anything like that, they're these sticks and they're for speed drills, so it's easier for range finding, um, to, to hit the sticks, to be able to duck, to hit the opponents rather than just being pads where you're doing it. It's just a different variation of a training tool, really. I've looked at them on the internet and they're roughly going for about 40 pound per pair. So what I've done is I've come up with the idea of, one, for a bit of fun, two, it could work and they could be just as useful as um, buying the real pair themselves. So what I did was I popped down to a local sort of hardware store, should we say, and I picked up some bits and we're gonna attempt today to make our own punching sticks. Let's call them punching sticks. I'm not too sure the exact name of them, but I'm gonna make my own pair. So what you need if you guys wanna try this at home yourself, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna have to obviously pop down to a hardware store. I got this from Wix. So any of you guys in the UK, um, Wix is where I've got this stuff from. I'm sure places like B&Q, places like that will probably do the same sort of stuff. So what I've got is one two meter long pipe. Now, I'm gonna make four of these. Obviously I run a martial arts class, so if they're any good, I can introduce them into class and it saves me running back and forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, four of these. However, you can make two of them if you get a shorter one or if you guys wanted a longer version, um, then obviously you can just use more of the stick. So this is a two meter stick, like I said, just a bit of literally hollow, hollow piping. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into equal fourths and that will be the length of our actual punching stick. So, obviously this is not gonna be enough just to use. You know, you could use this as a very basic, basic thing. You could just use a stick. I was thinking things like broom handles, um, anything like that. I've gone for something a little bit thicker, because then that way it just gives me something um, he slightly heavier and with a bit more durability to uh, to be punched, so I've gone with a thicker one. I've also got some literally foam tubing. Now this is like insulation. Uh, they actually call it yeah pipe insulation. Um, it's slightly thicker. I've got the 22 uh, millimeter hole in the middle. They did a smaller one at 15, but I've gone for the bigger one. And you're also going to need some black, well whichever colour you guys want. Um, but some electrical tape. Now, you guys might have a source, and anyone watching this, please, please be careful. Either get your parent to do it if you know if you're young and you haven't used a saw before. Um, you know, be uh, supervised by an adult if you need to. However, if you guys are used to, to cutting stuff up and you're you know you're old enough um, and mature enough to use this sort of thing, um, I. I did. I have got one of these. <laughs> I didn't know if to buy one or if to uh, just see if I had one at home. I didn't want to come home, find I haven't got one, and buy one. So I'm going to add this into the overall price. However, if you guys have this already, like any of it, you don't need to then rebuy it again. I've also got some red tape, which is purely just for a bit of decoration, should I say, just to, to mark certain ends, so you know which end you're holding and which end you'll be uh, hitting. So, you're also going to need, equipment-wise, one pen and one measuring tape. So, I'm gonna measure this, put it into quarters, cut them, so I'll see you in a second. So guys, I've now measured it, into individual sticks. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna have four individual sticks that I can prepare to obviously make into our punching sticks. Now 
we've got the four individual sticks. So they're all gonna be roughly the same length. This one is slightly longer, but it doesn't matter because when we're here, literally just gonna be in this motion. Now, I would suggest I haven't yet, but I will. Um, you're going to cover this end, or if you're not gonna cover it, I would definitely just get some water, some kind of wire brush or wire, um, like washing up the scaler thing, and just clean off around the edges, just to get rid of all these fray bits of material that are just, of plastic that are just there. So, once we've got the four bits of, uh, of piping ready, what we're gonna do, is open up our insulation. So now this is half cut already. So even if the hole isn't big enough, which it's not to fit this in, we should open it up, fit in the first part, and then this should be able to just get its way. In. Now, I'm going to leave, you don't have to, but I'm going to leave just an end as a handle to make it easier to hold when training people or training yourself. So we'll be here a hand's distance so it'd be covered. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it off right at the end and then we're going to use the tape. Now we've got our stick in this foam exactly where we want it. What we're going to do is we're going to get our saw and we're going to just cut straight along the same line as the pipe. Simple as that. Now, now we've got all four made. So we've got our sticks. You're going to have this missing part in the middle. Now, you can leave it like that, that's absolutely fine. When you uh, electrical tape it all up, it won't really notice and you can always hold it this way so the puncher is always hitting the front of this foam bit here. However, if you did want to and you've got enough, you can take some of this foam, you can cut it down here and you can lay it in this gap to make it foam all the way round. There might be slightly more time consuming, however, at the end of it, it will be worth it, even though if you don't, it doesn't matter too much. It's just personal preference if you want to go through the idea of putting this in there or not. Personally, I'm going to, I'm gonna try and fill this all the way up and then uh, just electrical tape round it which will hold everything in tight. I'm gonna just measure this out against here. So you wanna get your pen, literally lay this in the gap with one of these edges against the other. So it's here and then we just wanna mark this going this way. It's going to run straight down that line. Now remember guys, this is foam, so if it's not a dead straight cut or dead in size, this is stretchy, it will be able to. It'll be able to uh, withstand it. So I'm going to cut down here, turn it over, cut down this side. Should just tear in the middle, and this should now fit nicely in that gap. Now everything's cut, so because I only had one extra length, I've been able to cut a whole length for two of the sticks. So that makes it a complete stick there. So I've got two of those, but I only had half left. So I had to cut the other one into, it worked out as two and a half. So I'm gonna lay these ones on first, like so. 
and got to find the ones that fit because there's a couple that are just leftover pieces. Nice and easy, all we do is get our electrical tape, whichever colour you have chosen. Pick it off to start with. Hardest bit about it is going to be able to find there we go. Now from here, we're just going to make sure everything lines up. Stick our tape on and then work our way round. Now we're going to leave the top to start with. And with this, you want to make sure that it's tight. You don't want it too loose. You want to be holding the foam in and half overlapping with the tape every time. So, in the end, it should look something like this. Now, the end is still uh, open, so if you wanted it heavier, you can either put stuff in this tube and seal off both ends. However, it feels heavy enough for what we need. So all I'm gonna do is just get the brown tape, lay it over, going both ways, and then just seal it off at the end with more brown tape. So it looks like this. And there we have our first punching stick. So I'm gonna make these other four and I'll show you what the finished article is at the end. And guys, that is it, they are done. So we've got four training punching sticks. So we can see how these work. Hopefully, I'm gonna to get to the gym later so we can put these into action, see if they hold up. Um, they look quite good, they look quite strong and sturdy. Um, I think they'll hold up quite well. However, we'll have to put them to the test and I'll let you guys know exactly how they get on. So, if you guys wanna make them yourself, it cost me about 19 pound for all the materials. So, just over 19 pound. Um, and that was including the hacksaw that I actually didn't need to buy, which was five pounds something. So, if you guys have got that sort of thing or anything that you can cut the material with, you're looking at roughly about 14, 15 pound to make these sticks yourself. And if you, uh, look online, like I said before, they're about £40 per pair. Now, of course, they are professional ones. Um, they will hold up to a lot more wear and tear probably than these ones. But I've made four. So one pair is roughly costing me £7, £7.50. So you're looking at a lot more um, like bang for your buck, should we, should we say, um, if you do it this way. But... We won't know that properly until we test them out. And see you guys in the next one.